Hello Darklings! So today I wanted to address something I've been asked a lot about lately through Tumblr, uh, which has been getting motivation or continuing to keep up motivation with your art even when you are tired or you're discouraged by your level of skill or life that's in the way and all this stuff. And I've definitely had these problems a lot and I know how it feels, I really really do. And I've had long periods of time in my life where I just haven't been able to draw or create anything. And it kind of feels like my soul is being zapped out through my chest. It's awful. I don't like it. I do try and keep a sketchbook with me at all times. Whenever I leave the house, I have my little moleskin sketchbook that I take with me all the time. I've covered my sketchbooks in other videos. Uh, I try and take the sketchbook with me because even if I don't draw, I always feel better knowing that it's there. And I can write notes in it. I can do really quick little like two second gestures. I can do whatever I need to just sort of get something out. I kind of think of drawing and sketching as like an exorcism of all the bad juju or something. It's kind of like there's too much going on in my head and I have to put it on the paper so that it won't be bothering me as much. So that's why I have a lot of really shitty sketches in my sketchbooks. It's a lot of half finished ideas just trying to get them out on the paper and get them out. It helps. Even if you don't feel like drawing or you don't think that you're very good, even sketching anything at all helps a little bit with that kind of feeling. If you ever get that feeling, I don't know, not all artists do. Um, another thing is that I am constantly in the middle of like 10,000 projects. All the time. It's always, I'm in the middle of two or three projects and then almost done with one or two of them and then find more stuff to do. All the time. Constant. Never ending. Non-stop kind of thing. And usually they're like actual drawing like art projects but sometimes it's also writing projects I mean I know I'm in the pile of a giant pile of half finished short stories I'm trying to accumulate together and that happens too writers we yeah writers that's that's a whole different ball game and I can't even give you proper advice on that because I'm an artist first and, and a writer second but I still know a lot of those pains and Pretty much the only way that I've really figured out how to attempt to stay on track is to have like a notebook or a to-do book. This one literally says to-dos and important shit on the front of it. And it's lists, it's measurements, it's this is what we've got to do, this is what we've got done, it's checklists, it's anything from like around the house stuff to artistic projects and just writing out the stuff that I had in mind. And sometimes I will we'll get ahead of myself and try and start a new project when I'm in the middle of a current one and it doesn't end very well. So I try and write out what I had in mind for the other project so I don't like lose interest in it and I try and get things kind of mapped out so it makes it a little easier on me in the long term. That doesn't always work but it sometimes does and there's just little tricks that you can learn over time to help you get in the mode to draw or to keep yourself on track if you are in the middle of projects. I mean, this can be applied to non-artists too. I mean, just to keep yourself on track with projects, you can write stuff down and compartmentalize and try and keep yourself organized. And I'm not talking about like sitting there with Excel spreadsheet kind of organized. I'm talking about little notes, little reminders. I know that I have trouble remembering things unless I write them down. Even if I don't look at what I've written, the act of writing them down solidifies it in my head somewhere. And that kind of helps too. Uh, and for those who get discouraged about other artists being better than them, really don't. I have that every day. I have so many problems with the work that I do. There are so many problems and issues and things that I don't like about my own work. But I use it as like an internalized motivation to get better, to work harder. And yes, of course there are people that are way, way better at art than I am. And there always will be. Even when I think I'm finally at the level where I want to be, there will always be someone who's doing something better than I will. That's just how it works. And more often than not, the people that do that have earned it. It's not like they just woke up one day and could draw and create flawlessly. No, no, no. That's never how it works. Usually whenever someone has achieved that, they've really worked for it as hard as you should be working for it. And sometimes, yeah, the grunt work sucks. That middle ground between just starting and getting somewhere is really, really shitty. I've been there. Fortunately, because I started drawing at a younger age, I was like 13. So that's a little easier, even if your ego is kind of a dick when you're 13. So you just kind of have to keep going, keep pushing yourself, and keep thinking. 
And it seems a little odd, you have to think when you draw a little bit. If you're trying to go for a certain style or certain things, you have to kind of consider what you're aiming for and what goes into it. Like I draw portraits. I don't draw landscapes and buildings very well. I just completed a project that, or a commission project that was a building and that was very grueling. But it's also like, okay, we have to pay attention. So this is what you need to do in order to do a building. There's like certain little rules in art that if you don't follow them, you're not gonna get very far. Even if art in and of itself doesn't have rules. So you have to kind of figure out your middle ground on a lot of things and you have to pick your battles. So I'd say if you feel uncomfortable or unsure of your art, you just keep working at it. Even if it sucks, even if you hate it, if you wanna crumple it up, just keep drawing constantly, constant, constant drawing. There's a reason I have a giant callus on my finger. Uh, it's from drawing every single day since I was like eight. It's just how it goes. So just keep at it. Don't get discouraged. Um, whenever I get feedback from artists across wherever, usually through Tumblr, whenever I get messages or feedback about me inspiring their art, I cannot describe how awesome that is because I really do want other artists to succeed in this world. I don't, of course there's healthy competition. There always will be, but I want people to do it because they care. Anyway, shorter video, but till next time, Darklings.